Hey guys, sorry for the lack of output. First the flu, and then a few weeks ago I come down with a regular cold, high fever for two days, ridiculous. Um, so this is just a quick little video making this guy. Um, didn't show a whole lot of machining, but it's basically I'm showing you or telling you concept. So in this video, uh, for some reason, I said I lapped it on the granite plate, granite surface. I haven't done that in a long time because I did, I was naive in the beginning, ordered it, Amazon, 80 bucks, free shipping. Um, turns out it's, I looked at the spec, it's less than a tenth of a thou from edge to edge flat. So I don't do lapping on that, I actually do the lapping on a piece of glass back here. An old uh, TV stand had that thick smoke glass door. I took the door off, we were getting rid of the stand, and it's flat enough that I do a lot of the lapping on it, and it works great. So I just wanted to correct that. I did fix the tram on the mill, as I mentioned here in this video. Uh, interesting thing is normally I put an indicator, test indicator, and I sweep the vise. This time I put a one, two, three block and clamped it in the vise test indicator on the vertical surface and I was way off adjusted the tram till I had zero movement um, put a test piece of material in there milled it off way off so I went back to the other method and it seems to be really good um, so okay uh, also in hindsight I should have made sure the sides we're done first on this guy and that they're parallel just you know mic it make sure that's perfect so that I had something to reference off of when I'm trying to get the three sides here all square so um, and also I said I didn't have a way of checking this well Dave you bought the gauge block set so you could check dial indicators, micrometers, calipers, and so on. I had also added the sign bar so I could check the precision um, angle blocks. Yeah. Oh. For David? Yep. Sorry about that. Had to stop for an Amazon delivery here. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I was something about sign bar. So yeah, I bought the sign bar so I could use the angle blocks or the gauge blocks to check the precision angle set, you know, one degree, two degree, three, so on. So I went on two websites to calculate the stack for 45. They both agreed with one another because I know the internet a lot of times is not correct. Uh, rang the stack together, mic'd it, it's correct. It's a kick because I needed a half a thousandth um, to, to get the stack right. Put the store-bought 45 on it, one side's eight thousandths higher than the other. And it was advertised as being within 20 seconds. Put mine on there and same thing, mine's eight thousandths high on one side. So, long story short, played with it in the vise until I got one side eight thousandths high, milled it off, lapped it, checked it, I'm down to about 10 seconds, as far as I can tell. So, I now have a very accurate 45 for whatever I need. So, um, on with the video, but I just wanted to do one last thing is 3D printer. Amazon does have the tape, $11, free shipping, 2.8 inches. This is bigger than um, the tape that came on the table. And I've already tested that one part with it and it works perfectly. So anybody has a 3D printer, go to Amazon. All right, see you next Friday. All right, I showed this guy in a video how to check your square see if it's square um, in that video this particular one was way off and then the following video in the intro I showed the replacement 
and checking this, I can't detect any error. Or if there is, it's beyond the capabilities of this shop. But in any case, uh, Amazon for the price, I thought, you know, being from Czechoslovakia, offshore, hopefully it's good and lucked out, it came in perfect. And I bought this guy because, um, you know, mini mill, mini lathe, you're always working in small, tight spaces trying to check something. So I figured, let me pick it up and it'll probably come in handy someday. <laughs> Lo and behold, it's coming in handy pretty quick. So, uh, I think everybody has seen this set. I bought this set off Amazon. It's uh, from Anytime Tools, the 60, 45 degree guy. And um, now that I've got a precision square, well, let me also back up here. I had showed in another video, I was at a flea market, and a guy for a few dollars had the 6045 set made in the United States. So now that I have this guy, I put the US set on the granite surface and was checking it out. And it turns out the made in China set is better. So I had the China set retired. It's now out. This is the US set. It's now retired for now. So, okay, um, situation is this. So, yeah, I've checked it out. I'm happy with how square it is. Can't check the 45, but at least I can check the sides and the squareness of this surface to the sides and so on. The problem is, uh, a lot of times, I've always got this in the vise because I'm trying to set something in a 45 to do a deep chamfer. And if you got something round like this, it's very difficult to judge whether you're really on center. It's not that critical um, because usually I'm just doing a chamfer for looks. It's nothing that has to be super accurate. But the one that always gives me a problem, junk all over the place, is when I'm trying to do something small and square. There's not enough surface here to really feel it and hold it in the vise and, and inevitably I wind up clamping it in the vise slightly off. And if you're trying to do a chamfer, you can tell one side is going to get cut deeper than the other and it's not going to look right. So I'm figuring, all right, uh, I've had enough of that problem. Let me solve it. I went on Amazon looking for something thicker and there isn't anything. I went on eBay, and they do have one that's thicker. It was $16, somewhere in there, but it really looked cheesy to me. It had all kinds of lines on it for a ruler and so on, so I, I didn't want that. So I figured, let me make my own. You know, why not try it? I didn't film it, or record it because I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. It turns out it's way easier than I thought to do. So now I've got a lot of surface area. But to do it, basically I cl uh, clamp this in the vise. You stay off the bottom of the vise and uh, I guess I'll use this guy. I put my square up against it. It doesn't matter any surface. You know, this was the um, surface of the stock when I bought it so it a little rough but hold it in the air put that up against as best you can clamp it and mill that off so I did that now it counts because you got to get it really good and this is when I was using my precision guy here um, my wife's out here helping me hold all this stuff because you need three four hands Put this against it, clamped it, check it with the flashlight, no light through it, I'm nice and square, mill it off. Take it off to the granite surface, put it down, look at it, perfection. I've got it perfectly square. Uh, next step was, it was a square piece of material, raw. Belt sand that side, just to clean it up, belt sand that side to clean it up. 
while it's square, put it in the vise, drill and countersink some holes for thermal stuff, you know, the same way they do all these guys. Okay, so I've got that done. Now, um, best I can, wife and I are holding this thing, clamp it in the vise, check this side with the light, check the other side with the light. I'm as close as I can get, it looks perfect. Mill this off, done. I have no way of checking how accurate the 45 is. But again, this is just for um, decorative stuff. I'm not trying to do anything precision, at least as of yet, with it. Um, next thing, put it on the granite surface, check the side, and lo and behold, I'm tilting because I guess the tram on the mill drifted. It's leaning forward, so it's cutting it like this. <laughs> So what I did was I take a toolmaker's vise, put a piece of uh, sandpaper on the granite plate, put the toolmaker vise on it, WD-40, which uh, Randy Richard turned me on to. It's great for lapping. I use it on all the different uh, grit sandpapers. Put this, hold this up against uh, the vise so I know I'm vertical and then lap the thing, all three sides. Go over to the granite surface, check it, perfection. So I have perfect sides, uh, I have square faces, I have a perfect 90, and I've got a 45 someplace. I don't know how to quite check that. I could probably bring out the sign bar, but why bother? So, um, it's easy to do, had plenty of stock, it only took me maybe an hour to bang this guy out, and so I've got a really good tool for future projects. So I just leave you with some food for thought.